It is shipping season, ladies and gentlemen. So what is shipping? Well, Steve Jobs once said, real artists ship. And you'll be surprised how much overlap there is between artists and data scientists. So I have one goal today, and that's to ship. If you're wondering what shipping is, well, I'm going to explain. But looking at the time, I have to take a quick jog, then we'll be on it. I find that I'm foggy in the head in the morning if I don't move. And whenever I move, whether that's a gym, yoga if it's a recovery day, or even a jog, it makes sure I'm at my best from the get-go in the day. And it does also force me to wake up way before work starts. Shipping. So basically, Steve Jobs said it's not done until it ships. And what that means is that a lot of people have ideas, basically, and they just stay as ideas and you never actually finish the work to complete them for them to be a done product. So the importance of any project is going from ideation and thinking, oh, I kind of want to do this. Oh, it would be cool if it could do this to actually, you know, finishing the work that you set out to do. What does this have to do with data science? Well, working at a startup at least, you kind of have a lot of autonomy, but that also means that a bunch of projects are always coming in and out, like, hey, we need to finish this project, but we need to do this as well. So what's happened in my case at least is that there's a few sort of first draft projects lying about where it works, but it's not everything that it can be. So my task for this week, my absolute focus is shipping, getting things that need to be done to a final state and then shipping them out to whoever needs to use them so that I can just move on to more, you know, high value projects. So actually, and sorry I'm moving around so much, but like, guys, I'm getting ready for work. <laughs> what can I do? Actually, for one of my main projects today, I need to finish a Tableau e-commerce dashboard. So working at a startup, there's a lot of overlap between data analyst stuff and data science stuff. So finish that dashboard, which is hopefully going to be in my morning focus block. Um, maybe I'll show you how I structure my day. See, so I have a, you can't really see, but I basically structure my day. Maybe I'll do a video explaining this. Basically, hopefully my morning session, that gets done. And then after lunch, I have some NLP stuff. So... Basically, I have to do a ma machine learning project to train some sentiment stuff and classification stuff. So that's going to be pretty fun. But I'm aiming to do that after lunch. By that time, hopefully, the dashboard is done in its complete final state, redesigned and all of that. Then in the evening, I actually have my first uh, podcast appearance, some goat talk with one of the true data science OGs on YouTube. Stick around. You'll see who that is. Cool. So shipping. I've got a ship. It is good to have some human interaction. Stand up is a 9.45 every day and everyone on my team was on holiday and completely abandoned me for like a week. So this was the first time talking to an actual human on my team in so long. So that was enough social interaction for the day. On to developing the dashboard in Tableau. Usually in my lunchtime, I eat for about half an hour. And for the other half an hour, I do work on personal projects because like an hour is plenty for me. And today I'm pushing forward the work on the newsletter for you guys. So hopefully that goes well. Newsletter, just in case you need a newsletter to summarize everything that's going on. then this could be a good idea. So I will spend the rest of my lunch just researching this before we get on to the NLP stuff.
The Tableau dashboarding took a lot longer than I thought, so the NLP work is on the back burner for now. But quick side note guys, Tableau is actually an OP skill, ridiculously quick to pick up, and it just gives you so many new abilities. Cool, so the question is, did he ship? He didn't ship, he didn't ship because this is data science, so obviously data never wants to just behave. So a couple of things got, not delayed, but I had to rework some of the queries. By the way, yeah, it was a monster query. Even ChatGBT isn't great with BigQuery from what I've seen so far, but we got there. Uh, one of the major problems was from trying to, basically trying to make the data tell me something that it couldn't. So I've restructured the query. So really I should be finishing tomorrow. Hopefully that's the hope anyway. But it was a properly productive day. And then next thing that I need to do tomorrow as well is to do that NLP work. I didn't get to touch that at all just because it got so busy and so hectic. But tomorrow, tomorrow we're on it, okay? <laughs> All prep for my first ever podcast appearance with my beautiful lighting as always. You can barely even see me. But yeah, man, and it's with uh, Ken. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know him if you're into data science. It's pretty cool. I've been watching him for like, what, three years now? And he's actually one of the big reasons I got into this. Oh, see, there's that good lighting. So yeah, this is going to be pretty cool, guys. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. You will be able to see this maybe by the time this video is out on Ken's Nearest Neighbors. That's his podcast channel. First podcast in the books. That was an amazing talk with the goat. But yeah, did he ship today? I did not ship, but I got one step closer. By tomorrow, it will definitely be done. The redesign, pretty much done. Just fixing up a couple things and move on to that NLP work. But guys, it's been a long day. So I think I'm gonna go now. Keep up with the journey, people. Hit subscribe.